what can 200 us dollars get you in tbilisi georgia these are very interesting soviet apartments or flats for 200 dollars per month you get quite a lot of accommodation i chose these areas because of that soviet feel because i've always been fascinated with the soviet now let's go inside this apartment here look at the soviet entrance let's go The doors are metal, or you can take the steps and go all the way up. Let's go in here. Our lift is here. Today I'm using my GoPro. Before it goes anywhere, you have to insert five Tetris, like five cents, inside this box. Then you press the floor where you're going. If you don't insert that five cents in there, this thing won't go anywhere and then you pick your floor. I'm going to the ninth floor. And there we go. We are moving again. I'm here on the ninth floor now. It's written in Russian. You can see it's all Soviet. And this is the apartment. Let me just get the key. Uh, let's unlock that. So many locks you won't believe. And then this one here. You can feel the locks. And then we are in. Look at the door. It's proper metal. Let's close that. And here is the lovely kitchen. Most apartments you will get a fridge, washing machine, a cooker, but most apartments will have a very small cooker. This is quite decent. And of course the cupboards. One thing in Georgia that you might not find is kitchen utensils when you rent a place. Spoons, forks, knives, and sometimes pots and pans, they are not there. Even an electric kettle might not be there, so you might have to buy those. Just bear in mind. One other important thing, if you intend to be traveling quite a lot in these former Soviet Union countries and even staying there, make sure you bring yourself a surge protector. Their the electric socket only have two pins and they're both live. So if you've got your surge protector, you might protect your, your things. So if you're going to stay in Armenia, Azerbaijan or Georgia, bring electrical stuff, okay? Because electrical stuff in these countries, even if you buy from the shop, there's a lot of knockoffs. So you might be wasting your money. I've learned the hard way. So that's the lovely kitchen. Let's see the kitchen from here. And over here, it's a little dining room, a dining table. That's the heating there. Always check for the heating in Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan. You don't want to rent something that does not have heating because the winter does get extremely cold. The thing with Soviet buildings is that they don't have double glazing. So in winter, that is quite cold because if you look here, it's just one glass. So it gets very cold and there's no heating, no central heating, look. There's no central heating because these are all Soviet buildings. So you need to put a heater in your bedroom if you're scared of the cold. But that gas heater over there will warm up this entire place. So this is the view on one side of the apartment. See all those Soviet buildings there, all of them over there. The hills, the mountains on the other side. And if you look straight down there, that's this sitting room and of course the bedroom. All this for $200. You see with these Soviet buildings, this is like the back of the building. I've got a different view on this side where you see all those different apartments that I've shown earlier. 
and then if I go over there that's the other side of the building so I've got the entire floor you will see the view on that side is different so this is the view where I showed you where we have uh, the basketball court the tennis court kids playground and that side it's different so the apartments start from that side kitchen over there bathroom over there main entrance over there the living room the spare bedroom on that side the main bedroom there and the landlord here was kind enough he gave uh, an extra heater that's electric heater an old soviet couch table router we have to get the router installed if you are moving into an apartment which does not have internet and you want it installed it's pretty cheap in georgia you can have a very fast internet for between 50 and 60 lari per month how long does it take for internet companies to install internet cables and router you normally wait two days or three days and they come and install it within an hour installation is free this is the thing with these countries don't worry if you don't if you find an apartment that doesn't have an internet because you can get that sorted you don't have to get it installed in your name just ask your landlord to get it installed if you say you have to pay this money you say no my friend can you give me the account number because then you pay the account number and once it's installed you can use it straight away without paying but they give you like uh, I think it's a week or two weeks where you can use it and then after that you, you have to pay renting an apartment in Georgia they don't require a huge deposit you pay two months in advance you pay the month that you're moving in and the other amount is for the last month of your stay if you follow with the landlord or maybe the landlord want to rent the place to somebody else in Georgia they give you only three days notice to vacate the property and they will always say sorry my friend I've sold the place which is not totally true so be careful of that this is a two bedroom apartment and on this side it's another bedroom it's quite small this one and then you come out of here and this is the toilet let me show you this bedroom from a distance that's the smaller bedroom maybe it's about four meters wide and lengthwise it's almost 12 meters it's quite long and of course the toilet that's the toilet old soviet the roof is always higher and then finally the bathroom let me turn the light on and that's the bathroom washing machine here in the bathroom an old soviet washing machine there's a bathtub and of course a shower head as well if you want to have a shower you must be wondering how do I get to the washing line look we have uh, this metal you hook the line on that side pull it towards you or you can push it back that way this is how you do it you hang your clothes on this washing line once you have done that you can move it go here and you move the line put in the hole there and you just keep moving it once your clothes are dry you bring it back towards you There are three cities in Georgia, Tbilisi, the capital city, Kutaisi, the second largest city, and Batumi, the third largest city. Batumi is by the sea. It's a seacoast uh, city where a lot of Russian people love to visit. These three cities are different. Tbilisi is a little bit more expensive when you're renting an apartment. Batumi is second and Kutaisi is third. If you are paying 250 US dollars for an apartment in Tbilisi, the same size of an apartment will cost you around 200 dollars in Batumi and in Kutaisi it will cost you 150 dollars and the rest of the cities will be much cheaper in Georgia. Azerbaijan almost the same. Armenia is the cheapest place to live in the Caucasus how long can you rent an apartment for in georgia they rather prefer you rent their apartments for six months shortest stay or a year and more 
you don't necessarily need an agent to get you an apartment because when you get an, an agent for the apartment that's normally rented for $200, the agent might charge you $300 per month. It's not difficult to find an apartment. If you are stuck, let me know. I will give you some tips and help you get an apartment. Apartment depends on the area where you are living or the area where you choose to live. If you chose, for instance, Sabutalo or Vaquer, these are very upmarket areas. So the rent will be a little bit more expensive, maybe $250 or $300. You can go to other areas like Sololaki, which is right behind Rusta Valley Avenue. Or you can go to Mtatsminda, it's also behind Rusta Valley Avenue, but it's high up into the hills. Must be a little bit fitter to live in those areas. Or you can go and find an apartment or a house in areas like Chugureti. You can find apartments in Isani. You can find apartments near Station Square, near Majanasvili. Majanasvili is a different area. There's a lot of Arab community there. So if you want to be around Arab community, you can go there. If you want to be around Armenian community, then you go to Avlabari. But if you want the community where it's mixed, you go to Sabutalo, Vake, Gildani, Station Square, Nadaladebi, Chugureti, those kind of areas. If you rent an apartment in an old Soviet building, that apartment will be cheaper and bigger than an apartment in a new building. In a new building, it will be $200 for a one bedroom flat. Whereas in a Soviet building, it will be $200 for a two bedroom flat. And it will be much, much bigger, just like what I've showed you. For the same types of apartments, if you find this apartment in places like Sololaki, Vake, Sabutalo, Mtatsminda, Vera, those places are more expensive. It might be $50 more. Instead of the $200, you might have to pay $250. You don't have to go looking for apartment for $300. You can find some apartments for $300 as well per month, but you can simply find an apartment for less than $300. How do you pay for your utility bills? We are talking electricity, gas, water, and of course, for the garbage men. The garbage men in Georgian cities normally collect the rubbish twice or three times a week. Your electricity will cost you less than $5. Your water will cost you less than $3. Your gas, it depends. In winter, your gas will cost you between $15 and $25 or $30. In the summer, your gas will cost you less than ten dollars because you don't use the heating as much the garbage man of course will cost you less than two dollars per month so let's just say for your entire bills you will be paying less than sixty dollars that's if you decide to pay it yourself don't be lazy avoid asking the landlord how much is the bill for this a bill for that just say to the landlord you want the account number. The landlord will give you account number for your electricity, account number for your gas, account number for your water, and account number for your for the garbage men. Sometimes water and the garbage men they are put together because the price is so low. Once your landlord has given you all those numbers, you will take those account numbers to a vending machine. We've got uh, these lots of machines all around the cities. The area where you're living, these machines will be near the shopping area, near the shops. Some machines are blue, some are white, some are orange, as you can see in this video. You go to those machines and pick the language. Some machines will give you three options, Georgian language, Russian language, and English language. But most machines will give you only two options for languages. It will give you English and Georgian. So you pick the English language because you'll see the British flag. And once you see that, you will see a lot of options. They're all touch screen. You can go for utilities if you want to pay your utilities, or you can go for your mobile phones if you want to pay for that. If you want to deposit money in your bank, you can do that. There are so many options that you can do there. So let's say you want to pay for your gas. You go for the utility, and then it will ask you which gas company. And after that, it will ask you for the account number. You enter the account number and the machine will say next. Once you click next, it will show you how much you owe for the gas or how much you owe for the electricity, depending on, on the account number that you have, um, you have entered on the machine. Then you can just pay by cash. There's a, a slot where you put your cash, but it doesn't give you the change. So if it says 
5 lari 40 and you've got 10 lari, you can just put 10 lari there because the extra that you've paid, it will be carried on to the next month. Or you can pay, you can put 5 lari and another 6 lari. When you've been in Georgia longer than a month or two, then you know that Georgian people, they don't refer to their currency as gels. They refer to their current as laris. So one lari, two laris, three gels is the same as saying one gel, two gels, three gels. When it comes to food, food is very cheap in Georgia. Just like in Armenia, food is extremely cheap. What's interesting with uh, these three countries that I've mentioned here, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia, these are Caucasus countries because of the Caucasus mountains. When you're in these countries, you must get used to eating bread. These are countries that eat a lot of bread. These bread dishes have different names. They will say khachapuri. Khachapuri is bread with cheese inside. It's like pizza, but it's not. Uh, small dumplings which have got meat inside, they will call those king khalis. They have another bread where they cook the meat and put inside, and that one they call it kabdauri. They have another bread which they put red beans inside, and that one is called Lobiani. All these former Soviet Union countries, they do use a lot of butter. If you are allergic to dairy products, always ask them not to add butter or cheese. And for somebody like me who suffers from food allergies, it's a challenge, but I've managed. One thing that I find interesting here in Georgia is that you can go to the supermarket and buy a fresh chicken for five or seven dollars but if you buy a roasted chicken it costs less so the roasted chicken will be maybe three or four dollars but if it's not cooked it costs more it's georgia it's different it's just like how they call their parents your dad here it's called mama whereas your mom it's called data <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. If you intend to stay in Georgia longer, I will recommend you get yourself one of these. This is a rail card. It costs between two or two lari fifty. You can get it at the cable car station. You can get it at the metro station. You buy the card and put a bit of money just in case you lose it. If you are traveling together and there's two of you, I will always say buy two of these. Check my other video that talks more about these things to do in Georgia and you'll learn a little bit more why you should have a card each. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and like the video. Have a lovely day. <laughs>